Hi, this is Mark Keen again. I'm here to show you a brand new RC46DR, the new double roller system. You'll notice that it's all built in a very modular design. This enables us to control a little higher quality, a little better alignment, and a little better serviceability. All right, the main advantage of the double roller is it allows you to run the material through the machine one time and achieve that, let's say, 50 to 150 mesh in a single pass. And that's been a kind of an issue with our crusher in the past. Most customers ran the machine twice, even three times, to get the desired grind. So it really makes a big difference to get a much finer grain in a single pass. All right, so what you're looking at here is a five-gallon bucket full of some good gold ore, full of quartz, sulfides, and who knows what else is in there. Anyways, we processed this bucket of ore, and it took about roughly two minutes to, to process it. And you can tell this is some pretty robust material. Um, we, I was kind of surprised that we were able to get so much production out of the crusher. We actually were able to produce around uh, 1,800 pounds an hour, which is not bad. Um, and I'm sure there's ores that will crush faster than this, so when we say a ton an hour, we're not too far off. Um, I was actually surprised to see it do quite this well on this tough ore, because it's very hard quartz. But you'll notice that the material's coming out really fine. You really don't need to run a second pass on, on the crusher. We're still making a couple little minor changes to it. We're going to put some little rubber flaps on the roller, which will, which will help reduce the dust and get rid of some of the oversized stuff. And you might notice in the material you see some little flat pieces. Those are little, we call them pancakes. And what they are is they're, they're still just powdered, but they're actually compressed into a little wafer. And as soon as you touch them, they just turn it back into powder. We just crushed a bucket full of material. It took about uh, roughly two minutes to pass a, a five gallon bucket full of some really nice quartz uh, sulfide type ore with some free milling gold. So we're gonna process it later, but that's not really the point right now. But anyways, Bob's gonna, he's gonna dump the material to give you an idea. Now we do have to do a couple more little modifications on the rollers. We're getting oversized material popping out of the roller, but that's an easy remedy just to put some uh, little rubber flaps to help guide the material, so that's no problem. Okay, Bob, go ahead and dump that in there just to show how fine it is. Now, keep in mind that a lot of this stuff did pop out of the rollers, but the majority of it's probably running somewhere in the uh, probably 50 to about, probably 50 to 100 mesh range. It's pretty damn fine. And this is one pass, and we'll get a better grind once we do some more fine tuning, like tighten the rollers up and a few other things. So to create that bucket, it took us about uh, under, probably just about two minutes. 